Good morning, traders. Welcome to the TMT Stock Market Strategy video for Wednesday, January 11th. Well, guys, a whole lot of chop. That's really what's going on here. I'm thinking that the uh, non-farm payroll numbers that uh, uh, really were uh, basically flat was muted. Uh, the response was also muted. And um, I, I just have a funny feeling this market's waiting for the next um, catalyst to move this market higher. And I think it's going to be the banks that's going to report on Friday because uh, we're really not doing much of anything. I mean, we've had a lot of chop, and you can really do some uh, some harm to your trading account if you um, – if you caught up into that whole uh, chop back and forth, back and forth, and with no movement, I don't have a problem with backing it back and forth uh, price movement. But when you have a very little price movement uh, and gyrations in, in the markets that are just not really, you know, you get to a point that you're going to break out, you just kind of roll over, and that's what happened yesterday, with no movement again to either get long or short. So kind of quiet. Uh, the index, the indexes are very quiet actually, but I think the banks are going to really. Um, kind of push this market at least try and get this market moving at least earnings uh, is definitely going to do that but I'm, I'm thinking here the plan might be uh, banks kind of push this uh, market up higher Dow hits 20,000 next week we have um, Donald Trump getting sworn in and then I think the market's probably either, either going to move higher or they're going to move lower uh, really no one knows uh, I'm not going to just you know kind of guess on that but um, if anything, I think risk would be more to the downside than to the upside, um, only because I think the move will be bigger to the downside. I think we've had our move already, and um, it's been a little difficult for price action to break higher. You can clearly see that. So, um, quick video today. Just wanted to see, uh, want to show you guys where we are um, at this time. Uh, I, again, I'm, if anything, for a quick move, I like TLT to at least here to that gap fill area. Um, and this is really where you want to go, right about 128-ish from 127 to 128. That's going to be a gap area resistance. And I think we could probably could get there, not right away, but I think we can get there with a slow grind in the TLT, just as long as, obviously, rates cooperate. Next, we're going to see is the GLD. And you can see gold here starting to, uh, to do pretty well. Gold is uh, moving around. And we are breaking back above the proprietary price channel. So is this a fake move? Uh, does gold go uh, higher and continue to move higher? Now we have a new leg up. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure yet. I still see here a bear flag. Um, and it's a nice retracement rally, but I, I, I have a funny feeling uh, the way the way history uh, unfolds with GLD, with gold itself, uh, that we'll probably have one more move lower. And if we can make a lower high, a higher low, excuse me, from this previous low, uh, that would be more solidification to me that the markets uh, that at least gold is going to go higher from here this will that will basically solidify that move gdx same thing you can see we've been in a range here after we gapped up for uh, this is a four days now just in a range and that's what usually happens right consolidates and makes another range you can see that here consolidation and then boom so this is what i'm waiting for to see if we back test this downtrend channel uh, excuse me the downtrend line with the proprietary uh, price channels which we're now hanging above okay but really uh, kind of quiet out here Spiders not doing a whole lot of anything for the last four days. Again, we had a couple of down days, and then, then we rallied back up again. But look at the small little doji candles. There's no momentum, and we're kind of rolling back over again in our momentum indicators here, our MACD and RSI. So, again, <clears throat> the only thing I could say is that if we're gonna if we're going to break out, you're gonna need to take out the 227.67, okay, and that'll get us to the top of this uh, uh, big bearish rising wedge, or you need to take out the 21-day moving average of 220, let's call it 225.30. Uh, okay, so we're, we've been in a range here. That'll get you back down to here, and then ultimately we'll take out the 50-day. But again, one day at a time. You could see we had volume diminishing on the way up, and then we have distributions on the way down, but we really haven't gone anywhere. You could see we had an uptick in volume and selling volume up at these areas here, okay? But again, guys, really not much going on. There's not much to show you. Uh, IWM broke and then broke back above the 135. So again, 135 to 139. That's going to be the range for IWM. And you can see what's happening. We just kind of range bound again. Um, and price earnings ratio for IWM is very very high. So meaning that the multiple is very high. And we have um, IWM, uh, the Russell 2000 index, very expensive as an index as a whole. So. Um, you know, as well as the whole market is concerned, uh, the, 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 the whole market is expensive based on a forward PE, but you have to realize that uh, you're not buying IWM. If you are buying it up here, there's no discount to buying the Russell 2000 up here. So if anything, 
Uh, let's see if this market can roll back down and look for the 38% retracement, which will coincide nicely, nicely with this uh, uptrend line. And then, of course, ultimately, if we lose that 135, like I mentioned, we'll probably get to see the top of these uh, swing highs right here around 126, 28. And last is going to be your cues. You can see we're just kind of hanging around here. Um, Matt, uh, I was looking at Facebook, Apple, was, look, Fang stocks, basically, Netflix. Um, really not doing, they, they, they didn't do too well yesterday, the last couple of days. They were kind of quiet. Um, but NASDAQ was the clear leader here of the last five days trading. So uh, we do have some intermarket divergence from the other indices. So just keep an eye and see if the NASDAQ starts to succumb to some selling. Uh, and then we have weakness in transports and a Russell, then I think that overall the whole market should start to roll back over. But that's what I'm looking for. Hasn't happened as of yet, all right? So just be on your toes, guys. Let's see what happens with earnings. Uh, we have now earnings starting to come in, and uh, that should, should get at least an uptick in volatility, which I can't wait. All right, guys, have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.